Annual Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the annual meeting of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology in New Orleans, Louisiana. The reasons for doing this study were to define the uh, scope of the problem of vitamin D deficiency and insufficiency in our patient population. The second objective was to look at different clinical variables and see if there were relevant associations with vitamin D levels. And the third objective was to look at in vitro whether or not vitamin D had an effect on steroid pathways. What surprised you about the results? I think one interesting finding was our prevalence of vitamin D insufficiency seemed similar to general pediatric populations in terms of other data that's been published in children uh, without asthma or allergies and vitamin D levels. Some of our findings were similar to prior work in that measures of allergy were associated with lower vitamin D levels, but we also saw measures of medication usage, particularly inhaled and oral steroids, having an association with lower vitamin D levels. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Sleep.